Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. In June of last year, a group of parents with children in Vancouver Public Schools came together to make a commitment to improve Vancouver's public education system through engagement, advocacy, and public outreach. They've called their group the Parent Advocacy Network for Public Education. It's a grassroots, nonpartisan coalition of parents that now has representation in over 70 Vancouver schools and parent advisory councils. The children of PAN's membership attend schools from across the city. Despite geographical separation, these parents are united by their deep commitment to their children and the rights of all children to a high-quality public education as a way to reduce income inequality and improve opportunity for all of BC's kids. The group meets at least once a month and is highly engaged in issues related to public education. Parents Andrea Sinclair, Maggie Milne, Jennifer Stewart, Amanda Hillis, Erica Jaffe, Kareen Willems, Gilly Abrahami, Melanie Antweiler, Rihanna Guerin, Heather Legal, Makisha Fisher, and Alan Batula Moosman spend their time organizing on a shoestring budget to ensure local families are informed on the latest issues. By sharing the latest research and information about public education with parents directly, PAN is highly effective in ensuring parent discussion and feedback about provincial and school board policies that affect Vancouver's schools and students is informed and relevant. Their latest project is a toolkit for parents that will include fact sheets, a glossary of terms for letter writing, online tools and resource lists, event planning information, helpful hints for social media, help on how to make great petitions, and how to write letters to the editor. PAN members have met with every Vancouver School Board trustee, attended rallies with other concerned parents, teachers and students, and written considered and thoughtful letters to their local MLAs, as well as the Minister of Education. In a time when we're all concerned about less engagement in our political system, fewer people voting, fewer people engaging in community debate, the Parent Advocacy Network is a welcome movement away from that trend. Thank you to the many members of the Parent Advocacy Network for your commitment to ensure BC's public school system provides a high-quality public education to every BC student. Thank you, Member.